What's up guys, it's Jay with Bearded Dad Fishing and today we're talking about the Viver Universal Aluminum Truck Racks which are perfect for your truck or in my case, trailer to throw another kayak on. So we're gonna go over some of the specs, how to put it together and my thoughts. But first, dad joke of the day, what did one casket say to the other? Is that you coffin? So these truck wraps are a great addition to your truck or trailer. So I have my trailer, which is right here, and uh, I'm looking to add another spot to put a kayak on top. So as you can see, my autopilot takes up pretty much the entire trailer, width and all. So I need an extra spot, and these truck racks would be perfect. And I ended up going with the Viver truck wraps, truck racks, excuse me, because they're fully adjustable. So you can adjust uh the width so if you have a wider truck bed or a more narrow truck bed or a trailer you can adjust it fully to exactly what your needs are uh, in addition to that they're aluminum and they're lightweight and the price was not bad at 230 bucks so i already built one of the racks and i got it right here so as you can see it's pretty clean the install itself was not that bad so i did leave one of them un uh unbuilt so that we can build it together but it looks pretty clean. It has on the bottom a screwless design so you can just clamp on the rack to your bed. So if you're not looking to make some permanent holes into your bed, this is a good option. I will be drilling through them and I will not be using the clamps because I want to make sure that it's secured fully to my trailer. But if that's something you want to take on and off, it's pretty easy. It comes with clamps just like this that you can take it on and off without much trouble. So the racks themselves are rated for up to 800 pound weight capacity uh, between the two. I think that's a bit too heavy. I wouldn't go anywhere near that. The most I'm putting on this is 100 pounds and it'll be my Old Town 120 PDL. Still, they're heavy duty. They're also lightweight and aluminum, which I like, and they have plenty of tie downs. And the fact, again, that they're adjustable is the selling point for me. So I can put it on whatever I want. So if I feel like taking them off, the trailer and putting them on the truck i could do so without much issue so we already have the one that's built this is exactly how the pieces came which it's the two stands the three pieces that make up the top rail and then your miscellaneous screws it does come with the tools which is literally just a little wrench and an allen key uh, thus for the top tie down corners the end caps it also comes with the clamps for the bed if that's what you're going to do and instructions the instructions are pretty skimpy there's not a whole lot with it but it's not a super difficult uh install or build so it's really not a big deal so let's put this together it's not going to take that much time it took me about 20 minutes in total to build the first one and that was just kind of figuring it out unboxing it i did like that the entire thing came boxed just in this package right here. It comes with three little boxes inside of that box. So it's really nice, nice and put together and everything is well organized. The first thing we're gonna do is build the top crossbar and that is made up of two equal size pieces with a smaller piece that goes right in the middle between the two and it goes screwed in with some hex screws. One thing you're gonna notice is that along the top of these and the bottom, there's these tracks that run across the entire length. So it, is, it does have three holes here for the screws. The only difference, there is a top and a bottom. This is the bottom, this is the top. The top has little notches drilled out to accommodate the head of the hex screw. All right, so you're gonna put these together. You'll see that they line up perfectly with the insert, just as so. So we'll do the, this one at first, and then we'll worry about putting the other longer piece inside of this and then lining it up. To put these together, you're gonna need these little plates and they go right in the tracks. Now there's three plates that go on the top and three on the bottom. The difference is that the top plates are not threaded. You'll see those holes are not threaded while the bottom plates are threaded. And that is so that the screw, since there's no nut, this is essentially the nut and it goes right through. Getting the first one is, is probably the hardest part. 
uh, after that, obviously the second one will line up just fine. Just make sure you don't screw them down tight all the way until you have all the pieces and all the screws in because there is a little bit of wiggle room. But just like this, there's a little bit of wiggle room and you wanna make sure that they all line up perfectly. And then you get the last one in and that's about it. Super easy as far as this crossbar is concerned. And that's it guys, the crossbar is put together real easy. You have these plates on here on both sides and it's nice and tight. Uh, there's no wiggle at it on it at all, so real smooth. Now let's put on the supports and we'll go from there. Now the support column has the one end that goes on the bed and the other end that obviously attaches to the crossbar. So it is gonna go, it can slide right along this track here anywhere that you want it so that's what makes it truly adjustable which is really nice i don't know exactly where i want it so i'm just gonna kind of put it in a spot and once i get my kayak off and do the installation in a couple days uh then i'll know exactly where i want it but the good thing is that since it's just this little hex uh, allen key it adjusts really easily and you can just loosen it up and just slide it right around on this track which is really nice we're going to use a very similar plate that we used when we put together the crossbars this one's a little longer and the holes are a little set apart which is uh, the perfect dimensions for the support column the nice thing is that you can put it wherever you want and it slides right along this rail so we're going to set it right here for now and essentially the rail is just going to go right there and the little hex screw is going to just tighten in on both sides and that's about it. And just like that, it's done. Now we're gonna do it to the other side. And there you have it, it's put together. Real simple, not a very hard install. Now we just have to put the triangular cargo hooks on top and the end caps. And then it's really just the installation after that. These are the cargo hooks that go on top. You can not use them if you want. I'm putting them on and uh, if I don't like them, I'll just take them off later. They're pretty sturdy. So they look plastic, but they're actually metal. So we'll see how, how they hold up, but they slide right along that same track that everything else slides on with. And they also use this little tiny uh, plate as well. So they really like to use these plates to hold it in place and a twist knob. That way you can adjust and slide as needed when you're on the road. All right, now that the hooks are on, it's just the end caps, which is the easiest part of this whole mix. These are the little end caps. And then you just put them right into the corner. And that's it. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as my kid says. The racks themselves seem super sturdy and I'm excited to use them. I have no doubt in my mind that it will hold up a heavy kayak. If you guys want to see my entire kayak setup for 2023, make sure you watch this video right here and I'll walk you through everything that I have going on. So until next time guys, peace and God bless.